After a prolonged period where the pipeline master limited partnerships have been stuck in a total house of pain, the group really getting annihilated yesterday as the price of oil broke down below $40, seven-year low. Some of these pipeline MLPs have found their footing. That includes N-Link Midstream Partners, that symbol is N-E-L-K, which were higher early in the day after their general partner, N-Link Midstream LLC, announced plans last night to acquire Tall Oak Midstream in a deal that will significantly boost N-Link's earnings next year, although it gave up most of those gains by the close. I often tell you that the action in the pipeline space tends to be unfair because the stocks trade together in lockstep, even though many of them are in much better shape than their weaker, more troubled brethren. Witness Enbridge raising its quarterly dividend last week at a time when the whole group was getting crushed. Enlink's partners, Enlink Partners has seen its stock fall more than 55% year to date. I think that's a lot of that selling here might be undeserved. Now Enlink has a diverse geological footprint, all sorts of pipes for natural gas, natural gas, liquids, and crude. But the important thing is that 95% of this company's contracts are fee-based, meaning it's effectively a toll road for energy. In other words, Enlink is levered to the volume of these commodities that's being transported, but actually has very little exposure to the price of oil or gas. And with the toll oak midstream acquisition, it's got a nice catalyst for growth next year. Best of all, the company has a solid balance sheet, generates more than enough cash to cover its bountiful distribution, which currently gives you a gigantic 12% yield because the stock price has been punished so heavily in the past year. So is the stock worth buying into any additional weakness in the oil patch? Weakness that might be caused, uh, let's say, exacerbated by the, this evening's disastrous Kinder Morgan dividend slashing from 51 cents to 12.5 cents after many promises of multi-year dividend increases. Let's check in with Barry Davis. He's the president and CEO of Enlink Midstream Partners. Learn more about what's happening at the company and the state of the broader industry. Mr. Davis, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, Jim. Right. Good to be back Thank you for you. coming on. Uh, obviously, the backdrop here is that even though Kinder Morgan is a uh, is a C corp, it's not a mass limited partnership. Everyone's going to be buzzing about distributions being cut. Right. Why should we feel that Enlink won't do that, given the fact that Kinder Morgan often said it was just a toll road? Yeah, Jim, you were kind enough to give me the opportunity to come here and tell our story when right. we created Enlink just less than two years ago. And what we told you at that time, that we had created a unique and a well-positioned MLP because of the financial strength that we had as a, uh, an MLP, also because of the unique and strategic alliance relationship that we have with Devon, thirdly, broad scale and diversity of assets, and lastly, a great growth profile. And so those things we think really are what differentiate us. And the financial strength, we've only gotten stronger over the last two years. Now, this acquisition, it, it, were you able to get it at a, a good price? Again, I say that because Kinder Morgan was making acquisitions, and they kept saying they're buying at distressed prices, but, uh, and they would be immediately additive, but it wasn't. Is, is this a, a case where you had a seller who had to get rid of it? Yeah, again, Jim, this is a great opportunity to highlight the relationship that we have with Devon. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked in concert with Devon. Uh, they are acquiring for $1.9 billion the upstream primary producer behind the system in Felix Energy. Right. And so because of working with them and that partnership, uh, we really feel like we know this asset and we know the technical aspects of the play better than anybody else. And so we do believe that we've bought this right. Now, I will be very clear, though. When you buy top-tier premier assets in premier locations, you don't see the type of degradation of value that you might right. see in some other places. So this isn't a uh, firestorm sale. We okay. believe this is a buying of a really quality asset. Okay, so let's say the Goldman scenario of oil at 20 happens or that natural gas breaks even, say, 85 cents. How does Enlink do in that well, we're financially strong, first of all. And so the resilience, the stability that we have comes from a well-contracted platform of assets. You said it in the opening. 95% of our gross margin comes from fee-based. That means simply units per margin of throughput. So it is a tollway structure. Uh, secondly, uh, the diversity of the assets uh, that we have. We have three growth areas today that are going to grow, we believe, in any environment. In fact, the Permian Basin, the Delaware, the Northern Midland Basin, and in central Oklahoma with the Tall Oak assets, and then in Louisiana, which is primarily a demand-driven system. We're serving end-use customers. We believe those three areas are going to continue to grow in all economic or commodity environments. We've seen uh, a lot of people questioning the model. People saying, listen, they can't borrow as low as they used to because everyone's worried, and they can't keep issuing stock because people are sick of that. How does Enlink distinguish itself from those? Well, 
the MLP structure still works. In fact, we've demonstrated that with the optionality that we used in this particular transaction. We've just or, or announced a $1.5 billion transaction. We have pre-financed the entire transaction, including the first $500 million of capital growth that we have on the asset afterwards. We did that by strategically uh, partnering with TPG Capital and Goldman Sachs, who have come in to be a key part of our platform, making an investment through this transaction. And so we think we have access to capital going forward, uh, and we don't have to access the equity markets in the near term. What's really happening here? I mean, you know the group's been crushed, and these Hilarian MLPs and their ETFs, they're destroying people. I mean, yeah. right, well, as you sit back, do you say that are, are, are there many companies where the distribution's going to be cut, or is it going to be a handful? Is Kinder an outlier? I know it's, it's not an MLP, but are, 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 are you going to see many like Boardwalk and Kinder? Yeah, Jim, so there really has been um, a, a differentiation, or I'm sorry, there has not been a differentiation right. to date between companies. Uh, I was in a meeting recently with, with one of our large investors, and, and I was telling of all the good things that we had going on. And as uh, we, we kept going, I was getting louder and more intense in terms of trying to demonstrate all the great work that was being done. And he finally said, you know, hold on for a second. We love the work you're doing, but let me tell you that right now it doesn't matter. The investors are waking up every day to a terrible market, yes, and so we have a dislocation. I think in time, we will see a differentiation. There will be the haves and the have-nots. I think the TPG Capital and, and Goldman Sachs investment in us is a demonstration of the ones that want to be in a platform that's got an, a great opportunity to, good things, to do good things going forward. Well, I think that's a great way to put it, because I know that the group could be heard again from Kendrick. Maybe that's the final thing that people have been waiting for, because I don't think they're all going to be cut, but I think that N-Link's in very good shape. That's Barry Davis, President and CEO of NLink Midstream, ELNK. And I had to go in there because, look, I thought that Rich Kinder wasn't going to do what he did tonight. We've got you know, to flesh out everything. This is a tough group to own right now, as Barry said. And money's back into the way. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.